I think it's important to expose the kids to community service work because uh, it really opens their eyes to the causes and uh, problems that are around. Found a candy wrapper and other bags, like a food bag or something. Whether we're doing a beach cleanup or, or a food drive or just a bake sale, I mean, we, we get our maximum attendance at those. I think it's something they really enjoy. It's something they can take ownership of and, and it really gives them a good feeling that, that they're providing to somebody. It's really fun to help out other people, and you have fun at all at the same time, so really it doesn't feel like really work, it feels like fun. Doing something for somebody else can make you feel better if they can take each month a little something from that and keep it somewhere inside of them, somewhere in their brain or in their heart, and it, it just mounts up, mounts up, mounts up, that the end result is a positive child that does you know, great things for other people. As they're mature now, this is a period, particularly around high school and the later part of grade school, where they become more capable of altruism. By that I mean of looking beyond their own set of needs and their own set of desires. There aren't too many places really where the kids can go and be in an environment where they can contribute, feel free to contribute. So it's, it's a great way to sort of experiment in the area of giving back to the community. Where do I fit in in that? Now we have a speaker from Ronald McDonald House. Um, her name is Nancy, and she is going to fill us in on all the amazing things that the Ronald McDonald House does and so we can you know, raise money to give to them so that they can help and, and do what they do best. So, we um, have kids that are totally taking on that leadership role. They are out there all the time. They give to the world and the local communities alike. They have helped anybody from this area to the children in Iraq. And they come freely once a month to do this. And they have performed splendidly as far as I'm concerned. And I am so proud of them and proud to be able to say that they are a part of St. Michael's. I think that the youth group has really come a very long way. Jamie and Tim are doing a wonderful job, and uh, I see a big future here. More and more kids are going to come. I have a daughter that's 17. She's sticking with it. They have a few friends, and they get together once in a while in a very positive environment and keeping their hand in the church other than just attending Mass. The youth group keeps the kids connected to God and their faith in a way that is accepted amongst their peers, uh, in a way that they can relate to. To get them all together in one common place doing the same thing can just bond them for life. And it just strengthens our church because they are, they're the ones that are going to be our parish. A lot of kids don't know that they have a role in the church, but they do. Now you've opened up and you let them know that there's leadership roles that they have to fill. They have to do this. They have to take the reins over. We're not always going to be here, the older people in our parish. And we want to be able to look out there and say, you know what, one day they're going to be leaders in our church.